Hi everyone, it's Stu here from 3B and today I'm going to talk about the Oculus Rift S. Um, now there's some changes that Oculus have made uh, just recently at their uh, convention which they had, uh, I think it was last week or the week before, where they announced that um, there were some sort of, sort of key changes, updates with regards the Oculus Quest, the one that has kind of all of this minus the camera but you know it's all independent and it can do its own thing without being tethered well the key thing is is they've now uh, going to provide an update I think it's in November where you can now buy a optical cable from the oculus store for around about eighty dollars which in US in UK terms I would imagine would probably be about the same price in pounds um, <clears throat> And that enables it via a PC, as much like the Rift S, to act much like a uh, Rift S. Um, now that causes a problem for those of us that have Rift S's. Oculus or Facebook, as we know, who owns Oculus, um, they're the sort of company that I that like to develop really quickly which is which is good you know they offer changes and, and incremental upgrades and so on on hardware and they're they're not really that afraid of of pushing development um within reason uh and i'm sure there'll be a lot of people that have criticized that because you know really the rift s wasn't the oculus 2 that people were hoping for which i understand and agree with you know this is more of an iterative upgrade than anything sort of fundamentally different however um, I believe with the uh, adoption of this tethering cable that allows the Oculus Quest to then use a powerful PC to act much like a Rift S, uh, pretty much signals the death nail for the Rift S. There is no need, I can't see any fundamental reason why anyone that would look to get into VR that's going to go along the Oculus route that would look to buy a Rift S over an Oculus Quest with the additional cable. Admittedly, the, the Rift uh, Oculus Quest is, I think, 499 and this is 399. However, the, the 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 ability to to play games in a complete 360 environment without being tethered is great is fabulous fabulous admittedly the graphics are really sort of pared down quite a lot but with the adoption of that cable it gives you the best of both worlds and it's just the whole focus that oculus gave the quest and everything else and not a huge amount really given for the rift s there really wasn't much to talk about my feeling therefore and I, I believe I'm not alone in this is that oculus Facebook a will phase this out and I reckon they will phase this out next year and just concentrate on their biggest uh, generator of revenue generator of sort of VR income that they're gonna get in through the oculus quest and that will become sort of the benchmark for VR the fact that you can do it sort of untethered from a PC and then tethered to a PC if you want really super amazing graphics. Which is a shame for us, which have only, you know, not long bought a Rift S and uh, realize, oh, hold on, this could be made redundant, I reckon, in about a year. I reckon by the end of next year, it will all be about the Oculus Quest and that will be their main push this will be just something that's on the sidelines and then maybe they will produce a, an oculus 2 um, but my money really is on them developing a quest 2 and they'll move the development of what they had for the oculus quest 2 o oculus rift 2 rather over to the um, quest development and they'll just concentrate on 
having a standalone device that can also be tethered and they'll just uh, produce a better version of that and that will be just that one and only single VR headset. So it is a shame. Um, I really feel that that's what's very likely to happen. Um, you know, the, the VR landscape is is still finding its feet in many ways. You know, we've got PSVR, which is doing pretty well for a VR system. We've got Oculus um, The Quest, which is pretty much the predominant key driver of VR at the moment. And then we've got the Rift and the Vive headsets and the Vive, um, the new Vive headset. Um, Cosmos, is it? I can't remember. It's gone disappeared from my head but the new vive the one that uh, that just came out a, a week or so ago is having some teething problems as well and i think you know that's that's going to hurt it considering also that it's almost double the price of a rift s so let me know your thoughts do you do you own a rift s and do you feel that perhaps you feel a little bit cheated do you feel that this is a good thing that uh, Oculus or Facebook have developed this tethering uh, cable that allows people to use their quests. Um, it does op offer further a, a, a further audience for people to, to develop for, but it usually goes down to the lowest common denominator. So they're more likely to develop for a quest, which is a lower graphic resolution and so on and so on, and then maybe patch it to, to have better graphics for the Rift S and those that want to tether the Quest, maybe. So it just makes me concerned there, whereas before we had developers developing sort of for tethered VR, it looks like we may have people, uh, developers developing more for hand, you know, uh, untethered VR with tethered VR just being an option via a patch, perhaps. Anyway, those are my concerns. It's It's not a surprise. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. What do you think Oculus Facebook is up to? Do you own a Rift S? Do you think that that's going to be made redundant anytime soon? Let me know your thoughts. In the meantime, don't forget to click the bell. Be alerted when I do a video. That's always good. Otherwise, you just won't know. Uh, subscribe. Give me a like. Say hello. And uh, thanks again for watching. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.